In 1993, SNK took the fighting games world by storm by introducing the first weapon-based fighting game, Samurai Shodan. The title soon became a cult classic and spawned a number of sequels and spin-offs, but unfortunately lost its momentum and was almost forgotten. In fact, the last game in the series was released 11 years ago to very negative reviews. But the king of weapon fighting games is back with a bang. Announced in October 2018 through a trailer that received big positive response, Samurai Showdown is finally here on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So how good or bad this series reboot is? Let's find out in our review. From the first teaser trailer, we knew what to expect in terms of style. Samurai Showdown takes the series back to its 2D roots in terms of gameplay but uses 3D models, similar to most recent fighters like Street Fighter V, King of Fighters XIV and others. SNK gave the game a very artistic, heavy Japanese ink brush style that fits the setting of the series quite well. Unlike what SNK did with the King of Fighters 14, where they used their own 3D engine, which was met by harsh criticism, Samurai Showdown uses the well-known and tried Unreal Engine 4. And we are all thankful for that. Characters look crisp and detailed, and each colorful warrior shows more personality than ever before. The backgrounds are all mesmerizing, being mostly reimagining of the old stages from the first two games. It is a shame, however, that not all characters have their own stage, as few of them share the same background. Gameplay-wise, the SNK team decided to go back to what made the first game such a hit. Gone are the over-complexities of the slash and bust mode from the previous title of the series. The game feels like a mixture of Samurai Showdown 2 and 5 Special the two titles regarded by most as the pinnacle of the series. One of the aspects that were unique to Samurai Showdown since 1993 is the high damage of some moves, and here is no exception. The new Samurai Showdown does not shy away from the fact that being hit with a sword can be fatal and definitely should take away more life meter than other fighting games relying on punches and kicks. System-wise, Samurai Showdown is one of the simplest to grasp, but hard to master. Unlike most fighting games that rely on tricky setups and long combos that easily throw off newcomers, Samurai Showdown is a breath of fresh air. Anyone can pick up the game and do well against seasoned players. Samurai Showdown's battles are slow and methodical, and require players to be patient, careful, in order to reap the reward of slashing your opponent in half. Most of the cast have all their moves back. Haomaru's Kogetsuzan are as fast as ever, and Hanzo's command grab is still a joy to witness. But with all moves and mechanics also come some new tools. Similar to previous titles, each character has a second meter which is the famous Pau Gauge or Rage Meter. As it fills up through taking damage, your moves get stronger and more damaging. Once filled, you can use your power gauge to inflict a disarming flashy move called the Weapon Flipping Technique, or WFT for short. And to make it easy, all characters have the same input for this devastating move. Hitting your opponent with the WFT will disarm them and force them to fight using their weak limbs as they try to recover their weapon. Another form of super moves are the brand new super special moves. These devastating techniques can be done only once, anytime during the match, with no requirement whatsoever. Landing it properly can take away up to 70% from your opponent's life. But don't go trying it without being sure it's gonna hit. The super special move has a very slow startup and a slower recovery. Missing it might mean instant death for you. And speaking of instant death, at any moment during the match, you can go into the rage explosion mode by pressing the three weapon attack buttons. This mode, which made its debut in Samurai Showdown 3, replaces your power gauge with a depleting meter, which you can use to either do a WFT technique or a fatal flash, also known as the Isen. This fast dash, one single attack that makes your character look the coolest, has the potential to kill your opponent in an instant, as damage from an Isen can reach up to 60%. Just be careful though, as once you go into Rage Explosion mode, you will lose your Rage Gauge for the rest of the match. 
Since its conception, Samurai Showdown always had a bit of gore compared to other SNK fighters and this reboot takes things a bit to the next level. Characters get bloodied and their clothes stained with their opponents or their blood. Hitting your enemy with a heavy slash at the end can split them into halves, while doing the same with the medium slash can drain them from all their blood in a very samurai anime fashion. The finishing moves are nowhere near as violent as Mortal Kombat and are a bit cartoony, but they still have that satisfying effect once performed on an opponent that was inches away from beating you. Menus of the new Samurai Showdown are easy to navigate, clear, and all have that heavy feudal Japanese influence. Character art, whether in prologues, portraits, or endings, are top-notch and thanks to the very talented Yumi Saji. Her colorful style definitely fits the setting of the new game. We cannot talk about presentation without talking about the beautiful music in the game. The Samurai Showdown series was always known for its music, which uses and combines both traditional and new instruments, and the new Samurai Showdown not only follows its predecessor but definitely surpasses them, offering, quite easily, the best soundtrack of a fighting game in recent years. While Samurai Showdown is a reboot of sorts for the series in terms of gameplay and mechanics, story-wise it fits right in the series timeline, as the game takes place between Samurai Showdown 5 and Samurai Showdown 1. Having the game set in that timeline made it easy for SNK to bring back favorite characters like Nakururu, Jubei and Earthquake, who met their end in subsequent sequels. Samurai Showdown comes with 16 characters, 3 of which are brand new to the series. Returning cast includes series protagonist Haomaru, Nakururu, Tam Tam, Jubei, Senryo Kyoshiro, Ukyo, Galford, Hanzo, Genjuro, Earthquake, Shiki, Yoshitora, and Charlotte. Joining the 13 returning characters are three brand new warriors. Kuramaya Shamaru, a ninja-like Robin Hood style character who hides an immense power within. He's an anti-hero driven by revenge for his unjustly executed father. Dolly Dagger, a strong ship-building and ass-kicking woman of color with a huge weapon and insane damage. And finally, Wu Rei Shan, a shy, glass-wearing Chinese girl wielding a mystical shield-like weapon that can summon dragons. Yes, a freaking dragon. Some all-time favorites are definitely missing, like the green monster with scissor hands Ganon, or the old hermit Kafi Nicotin who also has the best name of any fighting game character, as well as Wanfu and Seeger. However, fans of these characters should have hope as SNK is planning a multi-year support for the game, which will include multiple characters added post-launch in seasonal packages. While a 16 character starting roster might seem small, and it is a bit small, each character is quite unique and the base roster really feels satisfying. But if that is not enough for you, SNK is offering fans who purchased the game before June 20th the first season pass for free. This includes 4 extra characters, the first being the recently revealed Rimururu, who will be added in August. Samurai Showdown offers a number of game modes that will sure leave fans busy. In terms of single player content, first we have the story mode, an arcade ladder style where your chosen character gets a prologue, a rival battle cutscene and an ending. Fans wanting a full cinematic story mode akin of Mortal Kombat 11 or Street Fighter 5 will be disappointed as there are no sign of such thing. While it is understandable that we're not getting a full-fledged story mode with SNK's first real effort in bringing the series back, I would have hoped to get more story information on our beloved characters. One character that really would have used the extra story material is the game's final boss, who even after defeating her with the entire cast, I still do not know much about her or her motives. And the story itself feels like an appetizer for things to come, which is probably Amakusa's resurrection.
Seeing all the character endings and prologues gives a sense that this is the first episode of a long-running anime, and we're just getting started in getting to know these characters. If knowing about your favorite character is not your thing and you're not interested in fighting the game's new boss, then you can jump into multitude of versus battles. These include your normal versus mode versus CPU or versus second player, gauntlet mode where you fight every character of the roster one after the other, survival, and time trial. Samurai Showdown also offers a unique new mode, one that SNK is very proud of, and that is dojo mode. This AI control feature is constantly watching the player playing offline modes, analyzing, learning their playstyle, and then creating an AI ghost of the said player. This ghost data can then be used to make you fight against yourself and see your weaknesses. The AI ghost can also be uploaded online, and similarly, a player can download ghost data for other players including world champions to test their skills against theirs. While Dojo was available during the time of this review, player ghosts were very few and SNK said that the ghost data would not be real until post-launch. Nevertheless, I was able to download couple ghosts and tested my Genjuro skills against them. In today's day and age, a fighting game lives or dies by its online capabilities. Samurai Showdown obviously offers online play. Players can choose between ranked or casual matches and both modes can be run in the background with the Fight Request feature, which is available in every single player mode. Gone are the days where you have to sit in an empty room before being able to play online. You can set the Fight Request feature to accept ranked or unranked challenges as you test your skills in story mode or just learning new setups in training mode. You can also train online with your friends in an online training feature that is an option available in casual online match mode. Since Samurai Showdown was shown back in October last year, people were asking about the netcode. What type is it? How good is it? Well, I cannot guarantee how things work when everyone gets online on June 25th. I am happy to reveal that I have played over 2 hours of online matches and more than 95% of those matches were buttery smooth. I had few matches against the famous SNK esports player Frionel that worked like a charm. I also had few matches with a player from France, knowing that I am located in Morocco, and they were flawless. The only bad experience I had which was still playable was against a player in the west coast and seeing how much distance is between us, I am surprised that the game was still somewhat playable. Samurai Showdown is back. With a robust single player experience, tense and easy to play gameplay, a well-rounded even though a bit small roster, and beautiful graphics and music. This new reboot of the franchise is quite the hit and leaves us wanting for more characters and content that should be added as DLC or left for an eventual sequel. Samurai Shodan releases on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on June 25th with a Nintendo Switch, PC and Stadia version to follow in Q4. I hope you liked this video, please leave a comment and tell us what you think about the new Samurai Showdown, please subscribe if you have not done so before. And don't forget that you can help Neo Geo Now become the best YouTube Neo Geo channel by helping us by donating through PayPal or becoming a patron through Patreon. Links are in the description below. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.